This time of year, Christmas trees are a topic of conversation. Do you choose real? Maybe your family goes the artificial route. Many people choose real, but which type is the best? Here with the Dirt U by Extension Horticulture educator Ryan Pancott is back. All right, first up, real or artificial for you? Uh, well, actually, we have real, but it's a house plant that we what? so we can reuse it every oh. year, and it's yeah, Norfolk Island pine, and that's just um, our our re our way of not killing a tree every year. But why am I not surprised? <laughs> I should have known that was going to be your response. All right, uh, lots of people enjoy the um, the real trees for mm -hmm. Christmas, but they're not all created equal. Right, so um, there's there's a number of different species that are pretty common as Christmas trees, you know, and they're all conifers. So that, you know, those are cone-bearing plants that have needle-like or spray-like vegetation. But I think m so many of us just call them all pine trees. So if you want to impress your friends with your nerdy <laughs> plant knowledge like I do okay. this year, um, here's just some real easy tips on how you can kind of differentiate some of the different plants. So, okay, so I always go um, for the Douglas spur when we did the real trees because the needles didn't fall off as easily as maybe a different type. Yeah, actually Douglas fir, I, I don't have a Douglas fir sample here. I couldn't oh. couldn't find one this year, really? but it, it is a very common tree. And you know, actually I'm gonna talk about kind of spruce, pine, and fir, where okay. Douglas fir, it's actually kind of in another category. It's closer oh, to a hemlock than Who knew? Fir. So, who knew? Okay. Um, but yeah, just really quick, if you if you want to look at somebody's Christmas tree and kind of determine if it's a spruce, pine, or a fir, <laughs> um, here's a couple different pines. So I have Scots pine and white pine. You can see they're pretty different. The needles are a little bit longer. Hardy there um, on your right. I don't think yeah. the ornaments stay on the on those. The white pine. Yeah. Yeah, I know. So this is not really my preferred one, but um, Scots pine is kind of the most popular pine you really see in most places. And you know, the way you can tell a pine tree is that these needles needles on the stem are actually in little bundles. So if I pick them off, it's in a bundle of two on a Scots pine. I know that's kind of hard to see there, probably on yeah. camera. And white pine's a little different where its bundle is in five needles. Oh, wow. And so that's really okay. rare that a pine tree has five needles. Most of them have two or three. So, Interesting. So if you see that they're in these little bundles on the stem, and you can really see it on this pine tree, uh, on this white pine, that's a pine. <laughs> okay. So um, now the next ones all kind of look very these similar. These look a lot the same. And so this next one is actually a spruce. So here, take a take a grab okay. on that. See if that's that should be pretty prickly. It is. Uh, like that doesn't so, look very good, honestly. Yeah. So that's Colorado blue spruce. Pretty common landscape. I love plants. the color, the shade of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Makes a neat Christmas tree, but um, that's one way you can tell a spruce. It's really prickly, and those those needles kind of radiate or out of the out of the twig from all around. Where if we look at these fur samples I have, okay. um, they they're not prickly to the touch. If you touch this, these look more artificial. It almost does look art. I think a lot of the fake trees are made after yes. a fur, but they're kind of flat along the stem, where they all come out of the side and they even kind of curl up. So while all these um, different needles kind of come out of the, the side of this stem, you can see this is a Fraser fir, they really curve up. So this is probably the most popular Christmas tree species in the Midwest is okay. a Fraser fir. Where I also have balsam fir, which you can see is very similar. Mm -hmm. um, it, they have uh, a little bit uh, longer of needles than the Fraser fir. And then finally, grand fir is kind of this one with the, the really long needles. And it, it it's recognizable because it alternates between long and short needles along the stem. I'm so. going to guess this one is the one that you have at your house. No, actually, I didn't bring a sample of that. Oh. I, I brought all kind of stuff that grows around here. But um, <laughs> okay. these are just some examples of some other um, types of evergreen vegetation. So this is an arborvitae, a pretty common uh, plant. And this actually shows that spray-like Vegetation. Yes, like you would see like in a wreath or some yeah. type of um, uh, swag. Hanging. Pretty common okay. in a wreath. This is a juniper species that has the pretty berries, and believe it or not, those are actually cones. What? That oh is my a word. very light cone. Mind tree. blown so. with all of our geeky greenery <laughs> fun facts here today with Ryan Pancock, who we appreciate being here today. Yeah, thanks. Who knew there was so much to know about Christmas trees? We'll connect you at CILiving.tv. Still ahead, Erin Valley visits with this year's Developmental Services Center Tree of Hope family.